Let's ride. Hey guys, thanks for coming along. This is We Stealth Camp, a mountain golf course, man, in the winter. It was a good time, man. I got I got out on the links, hit a quick 18, right? It was cold, but it was cool, man. We had some creepy stuff happen, man. Some comings and goings, like, it was a lot harder than I thought. I brought dank beer. Dude, I brought something wicked cool to cook, man. It's Thanksgiving, right? Brought a, a Thanksgiving dish to, to make. It was delicious. Hey, do me a favor, if you like it, bash that like button and subscribe, would you? Give me them subbies! Subscribe, it really helps us grow and that's what we're doing. So thanks for coming along. I'll see you out there. I ditched my stuff down there. The golf course is down there, and there's a cart, cart path that runs this way. I'm gonna try to park near that. Come get my stuff. <laughs> Look how far into those woods you can see. There's no foliage, there's no, there's no cover, none. There's a house over there. See what I mean? Probably a hundred yards away, man. I can see right to it. Stick season. All right, I'm gonna look for a place to set up. It's cooling off. It was a warm day. That's still not bad, dude. So those guys are all coming from a, a ski area. I know it, there's no snow, but I'll tell you what, they make snow, man. I mean, it's not like ideal conditions, but the trails were open when I drove by. So this is the cart path. That was a real exposed section, man. I'm gonna get down. Trying to get the stuff I ditched. I gotta do some bushwhacking. I see it. You roam around here long enough, you're gonna get a lot of balls, man. So I brought a lot of stuff because I'm making something yummy and it gets cold at night. So I brought my warm sleeping bag. I'm going to set it up between these two trees and I'm going to cut this one up for firewood. Camp looks good, man. That'll do. The car pull off, which I, you can't see him, but you're gonna hear him, is right there. So you can just see the very top of the trucks. I brought my um my my Canadian tire sleeping bag, uh, the wicked huge one, but I brought it because it's gonna get cold tonight. I hope it's enough. I really do, man but it's gonna get cold tonight. We're gonna be at 25 degrees, so.
there's a car down there. It wasn't there earlier. Like I'm just hiding behind a behind a rock. I'm trying to see what he's doing. I saw a couple people walking around down there earlier. Dude, there's a piece of equipment coming right up the path. Yeah, he definitely came up and, and um, like did something on the greens, man. I don't know what. That was close. I don't know. I mean, it looked like he was spraying it like green. Sounds like he's coming back. Yep. For a minute, I thought he heard me, man. He was like inching up towards here. But then turned around. Dude, it, um, it looks like he's spraying some like green stuff. I don't, do they cover the, do they cover the, um, the, the fairways, man, in the off season? So they still look green? Probably. Getting dark, so I wanted to do this before it gets dark. Look what I brought, man. Stuffing, turkey, wink, wink, turkey, <laughs> cranberry sauce, gravy, some wonton wrappers. Yeah, dude, actually, egg roll wrappers. We're gonna make Thanksgiving egg rolls, dude. It's gonna be chilly tonight, up in the mountains, mountain golf course. Ski area, man. Mountain golf course and a ski area. Um, I just heard a car like slow down and it, I think it went down the road towards the golf course.
that'll fit. It's a good size. It's not perfect, I'm still just an apprentice. <laughs> Some turkey. How far to the hole? The book says 325. Give me the one wood. I don't know, Hoppy. That's a long way. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Wow, Hoppy. That was a great shot, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we made that shot. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. High fives. Like 375, man. We're good. I might be able to do two at once, man. Almost done, man. Almost done. See that sky? How cool is that sky? The moon, like, came up and then dipped right behind the ski area again, man. That's it for the moon. It was just a small crescent moon. Just a small crescent moon. Just a tiny little crescent. So I heated up the gravy too, man. Some cranberry sauce. Look at that, huh? This is like fair food, dude. I haven't had anything this gluttonous since the fair. <laughs> the fair. Uh, Columbus Day weekend, dude. So I'm gonna have shh, I'm gonna have one more. <laughs> shh, dude, it's really good. Highly recommend Thanksgiving egg rolls. It's good. I'll see you later. I'm gonna put on a few layers, only because it's gonna get cold, man. The wind's picking up. And then it's hoppy hour. It's already hoppy hour, but. I, I wanted to cook in the uh, in the daylight, but even that went bad. It gets dark so early here. Like sunsets at like 16.30, like 4.30. It gets so dark so early. So you gotta like move. Oh, this is gonna be chilly. Let's make it quick. Then we'll do a fire. Dude, I don't know what hole I'm on, but this is like the putting green, man. This is where you putt. You, this is where you putt the ball. Dude, I keep thinking I hear stuff. The wind's blowing and there's a river. And so I don't know if I can hear cars very well. But the road's right there. Like, I need to shut this off. So this might be a darty review. It's hoppy hour. I bring you Viper IPA by Sunday River Brewing. Uh, I wanted something, I want to try something new. So I swung in and said, what do you got? Uh, and the bar, I said, hazy, hoppy, and juicy. And the bartender said, Viper IPA, here you go, man. So, thanks, buddy.
Dude, that car came on quick, man. I didn't even, like, barely had a chance. Some of them were quieter than others, man. It was close. All right, Viper IPA. I like the label, fractals, man. See the fractals? Fact, fractals are like the geometric pattern that just keeps reproducing itself as it goes closer and closer. But it's like this really weird um, form of mathematics. It's pretty cool stuff when we covered it. Fractals were cool. Oh. Nice pour. <laughs> Foamy. Foamy. <laughs> Dummy. I got Citra. Yep, Citra is sweet. It's definitely got some um, bitterness to it, but, but it's pretty good, man. Yep, yep, pineapple. But like the bitter part, not the rind, but like pineapple, like, ugh, bites you a little bit, which is cool, man. Fizzy. I don't think it's just me pouring this, man. I think it's fizzy beer. Like, it, I get some carbonation to it. Mmm, it's good, though. Definitely some haze. Can you guess what I'm smelling? Malty. It's good. Not too sweet. So I, it's more bitter than sweet, which is awesome. And it holds on longer. It doesn't, you don't think it will though. You don't, it doesn't feel like it's gonna hang on for a while. It feels like it's gonna be fizzy and then fall flat. Like those effervescent ones, man. But it doesn't, it holds on. So that makes it more fun. It's better than you think it's gonna be. I was gonna chalk it up to like your average brew pub, New England IPA, but I'd say it's got more depth than that. And it does, it definitely does. Good job, Sunday River Brewing, man. I'm, I'm surprised, man. Pick up some Viper IPA. Tell them Hoppy sent you, man. <laughs> All right, so what do you what do we say, man? What sayeth ye, Hoppy? Good, solid. Three and a half. Three and a half medals, man. Sunday River Brewing Viper IPA. Three and a half. Follow me on uh, Untapped, Real Hoppy Camper. I'll put this on there. You can follow me. We can talk about beers. All right. <laughs> it's good. So those are vehicles on the summit of the ski area, mountain. I don't know where they're going or what they're doing. They're not groomers because they're moving too fast. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. So the truck just um, pulled into like the golf course area, went down, turned around, came back out, and then kept going. I don't know what he was doing, but he headed up the mountain. So that, that truck, like it was weird, man. It, it came in, went down to the bottom of the fairway, past the clubhouse, Drove up the other fairway a little bit, back down, stopped down on the bottom for like 15 minutes, then moved. Stopped for like 15 minutes, then moved. And he's now up here, um, but hasn't moved in like half an hour. Like he didn't leave, I didn't hear him come out to the road and go. So this is a risk. Having this fire is a risk. I've been lights out for since he was stopped here. Um, but it's cold, man. It's cold. <laughs> so yeah, this fire is a risk, man. But it's cold, so I need it, dude. It's cold in the mountains. There was people on the mountain snowboarding, and the mountains right there. I have no idea what to think of that truck, man. Last I saw it, it stopped like 200 yards that way. I haven't heard it since. Whatever. So, but I, I need warmth, so I, light, it's gonna happen, that's just the way it is. Dude, this one has been hard, and I didn't expect it to be. Like, I couldn't even set up on the green without a car going by, or like, the lights down below showing up, or a truck showing up. Thankfully, I wasn't set up fully lights blazing when um that big rig showed up, you're pinned. Like, I had to put out this fire when the truck showed up, I had to put it out with my foot. Because he was right over there, and then he was over there, and then he was over there, and now he's here. I don't know, man. But he hasn't moved in like an hour and a half, so 
I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think of the website? HoppyCamperNH.com. Uh, check it out. I, like, I'm going to do blog and update it and all that stuff. But right now you can, like, pick up stuff for the holidays. Pick up, get the gear the pros wear, man. You can get this hoodie. You can get this hat. Check it out. I really think you guys are going to like it. It's awesome. I got, I got glasses, glassware, hoodies, hats, t-shirts, um, wine canteens for the missus. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the warmth now, and then, um... I'll wrap it up soon. I left my beer in the car. Thankfully, it's not too far. You're a little exposed when you gotta go get it, but I'll be quick. Right. This is a creepy walk. Just in case you were wondering. There's a reason I, I lit up the LED lantern and left it under my sleeping bag. This terrain is very monotonous. You can't differentiate any of it. It's just stick season. It's just sticks. It's a tunnel of darkness with some tree limbs hanging over it and a gray floor. So the cart path just meanders. You have to be wicked careful out here. In the dark, if there was snow, you could follow your footprints. You'd have a chance. It's just, this is stick season. Man. It's sticks, darkness, and brown leaves. And that's it. That's all there is. I'm stunned how much I had to pay attention. You know, made it, whatever, like it worked out, but you gotta be so careful out here. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, all right? All right, guys, I'll see you. up man like I was never even here nobody didn't even know besides the fire pit I haven't seen any like cart walkers man like cart path walkers I haven't seen any I'm really surprised I figured some some people who had like homes here would do a little morning routine all right so I just stashed my stuff up by the road so I'll just walk down the car path to get my uh, car and bring it back and pick up my stuff easy Easy extraction today. Mm -hmm.